Damn, Tony's taking care of all these orders right now. Damn. <laughs> I didn't know you were Jimmy's. <laughs> what kind of shirt is this? I don't know. Alright guys, so uh, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make rep bucket seats look authentic. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I did get uh, bride seats for the low. I honestly thought it would make a cool video, and a lot of people don't like the the black behind their bride seats. So I have a little solution for that, and it's super cheap. So I ordered this online. Let's open this up and see what it is. Sick. So if you guys know what real brides look like, they have a nice, like, uh, shiny, sparkly uh, pattern behind them. And the reps, they have just like a, like an ugly gloss black that gets scratched really easily. And I thought that it'd be pretty cool to vinyl wrap them and make them look authentic. And it'll just make them look a lot cooler, so. So I did a little research online and this looks like the closest pattern to the authentic bride seats. It's not the same exact uh, pattern as the bride seats. It's really close, but you know what? I thought it'd make a pretty cool video and it only cost me $20 for this vinyl, so. Right here's the photo. That's the pattern that I saw. I figured that this is the closest to it, so I went ahead and ordered it. Let's start by taking the seats out of the car and get this vinyl wrapping started. So the real reason I wanted to buy the vinyl was because Christian is wrapping his entire car. If you guys want to watch Christian's wrap, be sure to head to his channel where he shows you how he's wrapping this car. Maybe you guys could learn a thing or two. Watching him wrap the car made me want to wrap something. So I went ahead and just bought that so that I can wrap the back of the seats. Ooh, also wanted to let you guys know that uh, Shane and I went ahead and ordered parts for the SR rebuild already. So stay tuned. We're waiting on those to come in the mail. I'm really excited to get that thing driving again. Sucks just seeing it parked there every single day. Speaking of Christian, they're back. I saw it, dude. I saw that. Welcome back, boys. Sun just made a video on wrapping his 240 hey. with Supreme stickers. Supreme stickers, y'all. You know, it's turned to a Supreme car. You know? Yep. <laughs> check it out, boys. Check it out, check it out. Damn, my baby. Let me show you guys what I mean. You know the rep ride seats when the back are black like this. I definitely like the silver a lot more. It's gonna definitely make the seats look better. It's also gonna protect this from getting scratched when I put wheels in the back seat. So I guess we're getting a little extra out of this little vinyl wrap. The seats do look good though. And they serve the same purpose, so it doesn't really matter. Yep. Damn. Here we go. See, look, here's what I was talking about. When the wheels are in the back seat, it just like tends to hit like right here. Look, I already scratched it right there. And right here and like right here. All this thing gets scratched up really easily, so even throwing a vinyl over it's gonna really help a lot. All right, both seats are out. Okay, there's no way in hell I'm working outside. It's too hot. Let's start by figuring out how to take these seats apart. Okay, so I figured it out. It took me a couple minutes, but here's what you're gonna wanna do. When you have the reclinable seats, you're gonna wanna pry this out, pry this part out, and then you take off this little pin, and you should be able to take that right off. I also went and removed the two right here, and only you only need to remove one side, okay? And then you can just pull this all the way through. Oh shit, I almost dropped the seat on myself. There we go, and it comes all the way out. There we go, that's how it looks like. I went ahead and put that back in there. And we have this thing. We just gotta remove this, and we should be able to start putting the vinyl on. Now, to remove this, take this off, and it should be able to come right off. Uh, this is my first time doing it, so I'm just sort of just winging it. All right, let's take these off. Bam! Ooh, also forgot, we're gonna need to take these off as well. Oh, I hope I didn't break that. Oh yeah, get naked for me, bride. This is my bride getting naked for me. Damn, damn curves though. She's ready to get wrapped. Look at that, that looks so good. All right guys, wish me luck. This is my first time dealing with vinyl, so. Fingers crossed, hopefully it goes really well. So I went with the, uh, five feet by two feet for both and I just cut it in half. They didn't offer, uh, well they offered a bigger size but it was way too big and I, I know that this part's gonna be covered by the bride anyways. So I went ahead and measured it so 
There we go. We're just gonna throw it on like this and just leave this part black. Just lay it down. Put it lay down where it's go. Here we go. That's good. The vinyl is going on super easily. And we haven't used the heat gun just yet. You know what we should do? You should take it off, do this part first. Do that part first and then yeah. pull this way. Yeah, pull that way. Okay, we're gonna redo it because this part is the biggest dip. So <laughs> we're just gonna take it off, heat it, and it'll go back to its original shape. Oh, okay, that's a big ass dip. That's a big ass dip, right? All right. Look over there. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how forgiving vinyl is. If you mess up, just like me, literally take it off and then you just go over it with a heat gun or a blow dryer and it'll go back to its original shape. Blue too? Went back to its original shape for the most part. That's a little adhesive from the squeegee, but it's okay. I can go back and just wipe that down. Here's a little update on how we are doing so far. <clears throat> Not bad. No air bubbles, no nothing. We're just taking our time with it and stretching. No air bubbles? Bless you. What do you call that one then? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, wait, there are air bubbles. No, that's just a mark. Oh, never mind. That's just there. Yeah. Okay. Sap. Uh. Good thing they came over because honestly, if I did this by myself, <laughs> this would never get done. But look, it's starting to look, starting to look really hey. good. Shout out to Sun and Tony for helping me out. Hey. <laughs> but we still got one more seat to do, and we've been on here for like a good hour. <laughs> so good, we got all day. Yeah, we got all day, so it's cool. All right, guys. So Sun and I finished this seat. Let's put on the red seat cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, Hide uh, any imperfections and then uh, let's see how it looks. There is no imperfections. Yep, when Sun and I are working together, no imperfections. What's up, Rico? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, so we put the cover on and it looks fucking sick. You can't even tell these are reps. I'm just kidding. There, people will be able to tell. Hey, dude, they look fucking tight. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that bride man <laughs> all right so uh you guys see all these little stuff it's from the squeegee having um it's from the squeegee having uh adhesive on it but uh we're gonna go through and we're gonna clean all this up hey you know what wow that looks tight yeah, you, know, you know what you know what's even better what if this if this goes on my car damn <laughs> well you know what's even better what pay me full price for these authentic ass seats <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me know what you guys think. This is sick. For only 20 bucks, anyone in the back seat will be able to appreciate your <laughs> okay, rep seat. So Cass just pulled up. Let's see what he thinks about the seat. Hey Cass. You wanna give us a seat? You wanna see some uh, authentic bride seats? Yeah, let's see it. Follow me, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh No, look, that's, that's, that's the authentic one. Oh, shit. Wow. That looks cool, huh? Oh, relax, relax. Don't look in there. Don't look in there. Relax, relax. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. No, that looks cool, though. It looks cool. This isn't the actual pattern that comes on the reclinables. The reclinables come with the, um, the, carbon, the more carbon fiber uh, pattern. This comes on the non-reclinable pattern. And it looks pretty tight, huh? So you take all the fire and just wrap it. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Honestly, I don't care that these look real or not, but I just thought that it would actually make a good video on people that actually really do care about, you know, how the authentic ones look and want their fake ones to look like this. Uh, I'm gonna be picking up some authentic brides probably for the GTR. This is just gonna go in the S14 because I don't want to be flying around everywhere. Thank you. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's Cas approved or not? Nice work, nice work. I like it. Thank you, thank you. I have to get started on the other side. Sun unfortunately had to leave, so this other side's gonna be a lot harder for me, but oh well. Oh my god, I finally finished. Uh Sun had to leave. Tony's working on shipping orders, and Christian was in the garage. Oh actually Christian helped me a little bit. Oh yeah. But uh the second one was so much harder. Ah, uh, but it's cool. I finally got him on. Let's check them out. Let's turn on the light so you guys can see it. Damn, that looks fucking tight, huh, Tony? Yeah. Damn. Sick. Huge shout out to Tony, Christian, and Sun for helping me out with the seats. Uh, doing it alone was a lot harder, 
But uh, if you guys do want to do this, it's only $20 and having an extra buddy would definitely save some time. Let's toss these in the car. Look, you can't even tell. That's from the adhesive off the squeegee, but can always come back and clean it. Damn. Sick, they look fucking tight. All right guys, well that's it for today's video. If this video helped you out anyway, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about my seats down in the comments below. You guys can get fucking crazy creative with this. Any vinyl you want. I wanted to go with the silver because that looks like the original one. I went with the Avery vinyl. And Avery is it's pretty good. Uh, it's very forgiving, that's for sure. Well, I got to get the car ready for the drift event tomorrow. Got to throw in six, six wheels. I got to make sure that fits into this car, so. All right, guys. Well, if you guys want to cop some merch, be sure to head to our website and support us. Um, we still have a whole bunch of hoodies left. The sandstone ones are probably almost gone, but thank you guys so much for always supporting us. Um, I guess we're still on the way to 300K, so if you don't subscribe, be sure to do that. I guess we'll see you in the next video.